Hello, hello, you guys. As you know, my name is Pinky. This is Inner Conversations, a safe place of discussion and discovery. I am your love spirit guide. I kind of missed that all up. Y'all, I had just got out of like my spiritual bath and I was like, I need to come on live with my people. I need to give them these collective messages because spirit has been talking and spirit has been working. And it's time my collective gets on top of it. Okay, let's see. But <clears throat> Spirit has been telling me that lately it, it's about you having to invest in yourself and invest in your mind. Again, it's going to be the same message because it's like Spirit is saying consistency. Right now it's about being consistent with your mindset. Right now it's being consistent with your positivity. Right now it's being consistent with your flow, with yourself, of gaining yourself, of gaining your soul, of loving yourself. You know, these aren't the time. These are actually the times where you're breaking free of something. You're breaking free of some type of emotional what entrapment it's either somebody from the past it could be a family wound it can be a mother wound it can be a father wound it could be a childhood wound it could be any type of wound but it's something that you're freeing yourself of it's something that you're releasing finally and something that you're becoming free of you have to understand that these are the times where you're coming back into yourself you're coming back into the fact of all i have to do is just love myself all i have to do is just see myself all i have to do is just be one with myself all i have to do is just be okay with me and everything in my life will work out for me but it's also you freeing yourself of people who don't fit with your narrative of how you want your life to be. You coming into the time period of realizing you don't have enemies. You just have people that you're not compatible with. You know, it's not that we, what is it? It's not that we have to fight each other. It's just that we just can't be around each other. The way I love, the way I see life is not the way you see life. Because unconditional love is real. It's just your unconditional love and my unconditional love are two different things. So now we can't be in the same room. And we can't be in the same environment. Because the way I love and the way I live life would irritate you. It would irritate your soul. It would irritate your demons. It would irritate your positivity. It would irritate something within you. And I just can't be around you. You know, this is a time period where we have to really be honest with the fact of they're just not for me. <laughs> I'm just not their type of people. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> you know, these are the time periods where you're going to have to keep that envy, keep that jealousy, keep that comparison energy. You're going to have to keep that in check and understand that these are some things of evil, easy fixes. If you keep feeling jealous about people around you, if you keep feeling jealous about people that you're in the same environment with, maybe it's not the people. Maybe it's just you because you misguided truth. You, you haven't come into the conclusion that you could do the same thing that they can do as well. We have to come back to the solution. We have to come back to the truth. We have to come back to the realization that anything that stops us in life is us. Literally us. We're the ones that stop us. We're the ones that stop our, what is it, our resolve. <laughs> We're the ones that stop love from coming our way. We're the ones that stop the help that wants to really come and like really promote us in life. We're the ones that stop God from being in our lives. Because we are too focused on what's not going right in our life. We're too focused on this evil eye. We're too focused on the things that we are not actually supposed to be focusing on. <laughs> once we focus on the good times, once we focus on the love, once we focus on the joy, once we focus on what God is doing right within our lives, then we will be promoted into a new ascension of ourselves. But we got to get our focus back. We got to tame our focus back on our love. We got to tame our focus back on our soul. We got to tame our focus back on us. What are y'all eating? I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> but the dogs is just down here munching on the carpet. For what? But let me pray. And then let me get to these shadow healing, shadow messages. I don't know about nobody else, but I've been feeling so much duality. Like, when I say I've been feeling so much of this darkness, because before you can get to light, you really got to get to the truth of your soul. And sometimes those truths are ugly. Those truths are hurtful. Those truths are damaging. Those truths are something that can really be heartbreaking to your soul to know how much you probably don't like yourself. How much you've really been going against yourself. How much you've really been allowing people in your space, in your circle, who you know do not love you will not do anything for you and are not beneficial to you and you know you got to deal with that you got to deal with the con consequences of what you have done to your spirit and what happened and what you have done to be to to break down your soul basically to break down your soul you know to come into this three of swords to come into this heart and mental entrapment of your soul and yourself sometimes we got to take ownership and accountability for the fact of we're the reason that our life is going to shit <laughs> We're the reason our life is going to shit. We're the reason our life isn't going the way that we need it to. We're the reason that our life isn't as happy and as joyful as we need it to be. 
Okay, let me see. A death, going through a death, going through a transformation of the soul and the self. But you're only going through a transformation because you're allowing yourself to be seen. You're allowing yourself to be shown. You're allowing yourself to know that this is the time that you need to be in the spotlight. And this is the time that you need to get your mind, get your soul, and get yourself out there. Stop allowing yourself to think that you have to be something that you really don't. You don't. You really don't. You know, these are the time periods where God is really asking us, what do we want and what do we need? This is also the time periods where God is like, if this is what you want, will you put in the effort to do what you want, to get what you want, to go where you want? What effort will you put in? And the effort is literally to be taming your mind. Because like I said, all work is not physical. I'm going to keep repeating the same messages because it's just about the consistency within your message and the consistency within your walk. Like today, I didn't do my Instagram live. And I knew I didn't get to do my Instagram live. One, because it wouldn't have made me happy. But two, because I was tired. And I need to give my body a break. I've been telling so much truth. I've been giving so much gain. <laughs> that sometimes I need to find a way to fulfill my own self and my own spirit. And I need to have days where I need a break. Like, whoa. <laughs> I've been coaching so many of y'all, talking to so many of y'all. I'd be like, to chill. <laughs> I need to take a chill pill. <laughs> I'm going to take a chill pill. Fighting this energy. <laughs> And I don't know about nobody else, but this energy is crazy. This energy is hectic. This energy is, like, really all over the place. For me, anyway. This energy is, like, something of duality. You really have to master your dark side, but you also have to master your light. But you can only do that when you master your feminine and masculine energy. When you understand what your feminine energy is supposed to do and what your masculine energy is supposed to do. Once you understand, like, listen... Right now, I'm supposed to surrender. I'm not supposed to be moving. I'm not supposed to be all around the place. I'm not supposed to actually be creating nothing. I'm not in the spirit to create, and I'm not in the soul to create, and I'm not in that happiness energy to create something good. You know, and it's that saying that tarot priests keep saying where it's like, if it feels good, then it's God. So if it doesn't feel good, I don't want to do it because there's no God in the creation that I'm building with myself and I'm trying to put onto the world. If it's not God in this, I don't need nobody else to see it but me. This is an intimate moment with my darkness and my soul, and that's all I needed. And I'm seeing that here, even with this, like, mental entrapment. You know, it, it, it's something that you're trapped with with the heartbreak of your soul. You're going through some death or some destruction of understanding what? One, two, three, four, four of cups. The rat. I don't know. What is the spiritual meaning of the rat? I need to look that up. Because that's significant on this card. And I need to look that up. Tonight, tonight, uh, spiritual meaning of a rat. Hmm? Uh, rats are also known to be economical and resourceful spirit animals. They don't mind stretching their limited resources as far as they can. Rats are linked to negative ideas in the spiritual world as they are generally considered to be a sign of unsanctitary. And sanctitary? I can't say it. <laughs> Circumstances. Oh shit. The rat is the first animal of the Chinese zodiac sign and is thought to be a symbol of wit and prosperity. That's actually good. So you're resourceful, but you're realizing you're so stuck in your heartbreak that your resources are being limited? Hmm. Cause something with this it's something with this because this could be put as you coming out of this energy of a heartbreak or it could be you still trying to develop your heartbreak develop your soul develop you the son of pinnacles the father of wands hmm. it depends on how i feel with it i need another card and then that's four. That's crazy. But I need another card to actually judge what's going on. I feel like I need six cards because six is the number of love. And I feel like that's what we're moving towards. Seven. But 10 cards came out. If I'm seeing this right, to me, it's like you're trapped. But you're trapped by a heartbreak. 
it's like you're coming out you're finding resources you're finding new ways of like bringing more clarity to your heart and to your soul so you don't have to be so stuck on something um so you don't have to i don't know what this is so you don't have to be so stuck on some type of negative situation some type of heartbreak but it's like you're building your pinnacle by trying to understand how to fulfill your soul, how to talk to yourself again, how to love yourself again. It's like you're taking a voyage through your own soul, through your own cup, through your own misery. You're, you're taking a journey through your own misery. You're taking a journey through your own misery. You're taking your own, yeah. But it's not something that you're physically doing. It's something that you're mentally, spiritually, and emotionally doing. It's something that you're like sitting with yourself in stillness. It's like you're gathering your mind in stillness so you can create a new opportunity for yourself in your soul. This is something of you building. You're building your three of pinnacles. So you're building that community. You're building that power. You're building that clarity. You're building that happiness. And you're building your, your soul again. You're coming into balance with mind, body, and soul. That's why one of the reasons why you have three of cups and you have community. Because you're gaining a community by gaining that community within self. Before you can get anything outside of yourself, you have to do it with inside of yourself. And it's such a tricky energy because like, it's like you're slowly, you're confused. You're confused. You're confused. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. You're very confused by what you're supposed to do because you're gaining your freedom and no one's really teaching you the way. No one's really teaching you the way. You're, you're still figuring out your own way. You're still figuring out your own soul. You're still figuring out how to do things. But you're having faith. You're having faith. You're having faith in your new journey. You're having faith in God. You're having faith that you can create what you need to create. But right now, you're just in the debate of, like, your power. We're trying to understand your power. You're trying to understand your power. You're trying to understand your soul. You're trying to understand you again. And then I'm going to get two more cards and I'm going to get up off of here because I just wanted today to be like a quick little collective message. I'm going to post this on YouTube as well. And my YouTube should be my link in my bio. So yeah. The crazy thing is it's like for the sun to be in reverse but you to have the star card in the high font to me is like you're still learning your inner child. You're still sitting with your inner child. You're still trying to gain faith within your inner child. Like you're coming into, you're coming into understanding your inner child, but you truly don't know it yet. That's one of the reasons why it's in reverse. Like you're having faith, but you're building faith with your lack of confidence. It's like you're trying to gain your confidence right now. It's not that you're really trying to move. Because you don't really have the, you have the faith, but you don't have the confidence to move. So that's what you're trying to gain in this Hierophant energy. Because usually when the Hierophant comes in, this, that's a Taurus energy. One thing about a Taurus, we like to be alone and we like to be by ourselves and we like to be in solitude and we like to think. We, we, we real big on thinking. We're real big on creating something. And you know, when you're in a creation of something, a lot of times you need a lot of slow and still movements. So it's like you're slowly understanding your inner child again and i'm noticing that i'm noticing that with myself like i'm starting to listen to music again i'm starting to see what feeds my soul and i notice like i like watching what i like watching i like reading a lot of webtoons <laughs> i like reading a lot of webtoons because my inner child really loves to be a scholar and i have a lot of gemini placements that loves for me to listen to lectures and loves for me to just like discover and research things just so i can know new shit and one thing is about gemini energy baby i love learning this new shit <laughs> Y'all love learning new shit. No matter what you're doing, you just love new shit. Okay, let me see. Child, these dogs is in here sleep.
stuff like this don't move that just to me to me like it's just more stillness more stillness more stagnancy it's something of like you needing to slow down this is not a time period of movement yeah you have a new movement you have a new ace you have a new wand but it's it's not it's not something that you're dealing with physically it's something that you're dealing with mentally it's something that you're coming out of you're coming out of the three of swords you're moving towards you're moving towards like the seven of swords trying to understand your mind trying to understand yourself it's like you're coming out of this time where you strategize your whole life because now you're finally getting the freedom that you want you don't have to hide any longer because do you see how the fox is hiding that sword you don't have to hide any longer you can finally come out and be your authentic self. You can finally live the life that you wanted to. But now it's like you're you're restricting yourself from the world. You're restricting yourself from the world. You're restricting yourself from your freedom. You're restricting yourself from, from the justice that you're supposed to be getting. And you see that? I see this here. You're restricting yourself from the justice that you're supposed to be getting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seven of cups. Yeah, you're restricting yourself of the justice because you don't want to walk away from things that you know not serving you. The longer that you want to stay in a situation that don't serve you is the longer that you're just going to have, have shit that you don't want. Because God is reflecting the energy that you're providing. God is reflecting the energy that you're giving. Yes, this journey is hard when it, when you have to take the steps in like leaving people and choosing new and taking leaps. But at the end of the day, it's you or them. And it should always be you. <laughs> it should always be you. No matter what. I have a mindset of I will leave anything and everybody alone if it comes to me. I will leave the whole fucking world. I will destroy a fucking world for me. Because I know I will get it right back. Because once I have myself, I have everything that I need. Because God is going to reflect the relationship I have with myself. So as long as I have myself, and I'm cool with myself, and we we in it together, we twins, we're for life is in this, so we're going to be okay. Because I'm going to be worried about building myself and my soul. I'm not going to be worried about building with anybody else but me. So God is going to reflect that energy by building, like bringing people who are, who are on their shit. <laughs> who are about love, who are about empowerment, who are about self. You always got to think about me before we think about we. Like, baby, I can't help you if I can't help my damn self. <laughs> and, and I feel like this Libra energy, is this, this is the time where you're going to have to understand, like, it's me, not we. It's me, not we. I got myself out the mud. You need to do the same thing. You need to be able to get yourself out the mud. You need to be able to work yourself out the mud. You need to be able to do things out of the mud. Like, a lot of people hate on hustle culture, but this is the time where you're going to hustle for your spirit. This is the time where you need to hustle for your soul. This is the time where you have to hustle for yourself. You have to want to hustle. Like, you have to want to hustle. You can't sit here and think that faith without work is dead. And a lot of times, the work is not physical. One of the things that gets people so fucked up is when you come into a system of working with God, the work is not physical. This is spiritual work. This is emotional work. This is mental work. This is work in keeping your faith in check of yourself. This is work in getting yourself to not worry so much about things not going your way when you should know things are going to go your way. This is the work in you loving yourself and knowing that God is going to take care of all of your burdens, all of your problems. This work, this work that we so deeply are doing is about literally perfecting our faith day in and day out on ourselves. Perfecting our faith in ourselves, believing in ourselves, seeing ourselves. The work is in loving yourself. The work is not in anything else. And I feel like too many people get out of a system of a slavery type like mindset and a slavery type operation because that's a system of failure. We get out of a system of failure and try to bring that same tactics and same rule books into a system of freedom. You can't do that. You're gaining your soul. You're gaining yourself. You're gaining freedom. You can't keep thinking that. You can keep walking with that same mindset. You're walking in the contradiction of yourself. If you're going to be free, then you can't keep using those same survival tools you used. When you were surviving, <laughs> you're living. So start to live. Start to be. Start to have more faith in your journey. Start to have more faith in this new essence. Start to have more faith in this new dream that you've been building with yourself and your soul and your spirit. Be more consistent. You be consistent for yourself, not for other people. 
you be consistent for yourself and not for other people. You do these things for yourself and not for other people. You know, I feel like a lot of y'all have to come into this time period of understanding, like, you know you're the shit. <laughs> you know you're the shit. You know shit gonna pop off for you. You know everything gonna work out for you. I'm just creating, because I know when I get ready, shit gonna be busting. And some of y'all gotta come into this time period of understanding, like, right now you're just building and you're maintaining. You're maintaining the little before the big comes. And sometimes, y'all need to appreciate the little, because when the big comes, can you really handle the big? Can you really handle all that attention? Can you really handle all that time management? Can you really handle all, all the things that you're asking for? Especially if you're an entrepreneur. Because I feel like I'm talking to a lot of entrepreneurs. Can you even handle two or three clients at the same time? Can you even handle all of them orders that's coming back to back to back to back? Can you handle everything that you've been asking God for? We all want something, but can we maintain it? It's like Lovely T always says, it's easy to make money. You see you see with the OnlyFans, you see with the porn, you see with everything else, it's easy to make money, but it's a little bit harder to maintain it, to maintain status, to maintain energy, to maintain that frequency of self, of success. You see a lot of one here wonders. <laughs> okay. But I think I'm going to go. Because this was nice. I did love this stream. But I promise you, like, today, I have not been feeling the energy. I have not been feeling like doing anything. Today, I just took a moment of self-care. Because it's like God just told me, sit it down. Like, we don't have to be, you don't have to keep running yourself ragged. You don't have to keep doing everything that you're doing. You wanted me to take care of it. I'm going to take care of it. So now you take care of yourself. And so I've been just in the energy of taking care of myself. And I noticed, like, God really just saying, if you want to do this live shit, you can do it. If you don't, then you don't have to. You know, if you want to do this coaching, you can do it. If you don't, then you don't have to. It's just about what do I want to do? Where do I want to go? How do I want to live? You know? And I feel like that, I'm saying that for you as well. What do you want to do? How do you want to live? How do you want your money to come through? How do you want God to bless you? How do you want to be able? for the world to receive you and then take you and are you willing to embody that same energy that same frequency that same gentleness that same softness that same love that you want from the world everything that you're asking god for are you willing to embody and i feel like a lot of us have to understand that are you willing to embody the same thing that you've been asking for are you willing to anyway i gotta go bye y'all y'all have a good one Mm-hmm.